Hello everybody. In this video, we are going to take a look at the new costing tool that we added to the new version of Jevero that is going to be available in a few weeks. We have added an entirely new tool that is due to costing, uh, to calculate the cost of a shoe. And it's going to be added to Jevero or can be bought as a standalone application for uh, computers. So it's entirely integrated with Jevero, but it can also be used as a standalone uh, program. Uh, let's take a look at how it can be opened. So over to JPattern Parts inside Rhinoceros uh, JPattern Parts panel, there is a new icon here with a little coin and a dollar sign. Run Jevro Cost Tool. So we can click on it, and this little form will ask me. Uh, it will ask me to export the active parts. So if I have any parts active, it will only export that and sample size. Once we do that. Uh, we we see this new tool here with this new form, which is a separate program. Uh, so let's take a look and get used to the interface. Whenever we open the costing tool uh, from Jevero, we get um, to this page, which is the second tab part setup, in which we can see all our parts. So it's the list of parts that we have created in the model inside Rhinoceros and Jevero. So this is the first page and the costing is divided in four of these pages, which all serve different, uh, different functions. In this one, we um, decide which materials to apply to any part. We can see the name of the part, the preview. We can decide an allowance, which is the distance between one piece and the other whenever we place the, the pieces uh, on the cutting board. The rotation factor will serve us for uh, the nesting, so it will uh, tell how much every piece will rotate in order to create the best nesting and the initial rotation we will see it's the angle to which in which we can put every piece we'll get uh, a closer look later let's now go to the material setup page which is this in this we can uh, we can create uh, different materials and up that we are going later to apply uh, to every piece. So uh, how do we create a material? Uh, first, we give it a name. So um, microfiber um, one, you can see that I already have a few a few materials here so i'll just show you from here we can choose uh, to place the, this 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 uh, material on a rectangular sheet to which we can give a dimension all right you can see that this is the preview of our shape so if we can, if we say two, press enter, it's, it's easy. If we have paper or whatever, uh, whatever material, which is a, a sheet, uh, we can specify the, the dimensions on here. Otherwise we have a row. So of course on a row, we only um, specify the, the, the width of the row and it will give us a theoretical infinite length. Uh, yeah, we can specify the cost. 
so I'd say $15 per meter if it's a roll and we can specify a category so we'll say textile and whenever I'm done I can hit save there is also another another um, option which is custom so here we can upload a shape in SVG or DXF so if for example we have a piece of leather that has a specific shape and we want to be as precise as possible there is this option too remember this is a SVG or DXF file and we can upload it and then we will see the preview so whenever we're done I'll hit the roll I'll say 1.4 meters sorry 1.4 1 point 1.4 all right sorry whenever we're done we hit save and we'll see our material here when we double click on the on this column on the material list we can see a sort of preview of the sheet so for example this I created a square this is our rolls for example I have this and this I don't like that is category textile which is wrong so I'll create a new category And it will and it will change by updating so there is another option which is to import a material uh, a material list or export this current material list so I'll create one material list one hit save then of course I can import it And it will add them with a new with a new name so say it's zero because it's uh, it renames them and imports them to my current list so if you have a list that you want to share uh, you can do that all right if we want to add a custom shape for example for a specific piece of leather we will select custom here and select load shape so here I have my my shape but first um, let me clarify that this must be for example if you export a part in Javero must use polylines so make sure that when exporting this shape it will be a polyline and not a curve so let's open we'll see that this is our custom shape we call it ladder uh, type 2 okay category let's add ladder select it cost this must be must cost a lot so yeah and save so now that we have created our materials in the material setup part we go over to the part setup where we can specify all the data that we need for the nesting to our parts 
So if we opened the model from Jevero, we can see that it imported all the parts. And now we can assign the material and give some specifications before proceeding with the nesting. So what can we do? First of all, we want to assign a material. So here on this column, we can click on set materials. I have done these before. Set material. We see the list of materials. We pick one. And then this is going to refer to that material, to that price and to that specific uh, row. Initial rotation is a rotation that we give to the part when it will start the, the nesting calculation. We can specify an angle like this, like I'm doing right now, or double click on the preview and place it around by playing with this. The suggestion is to place it as uh, straight as possible, like this, so the rotation will, will work better and, and, and the um, we will see right now what I'm talking about. This column here is a, uh, the rotation factor, which is how much it will rotate uh, during the nesting calculations. So if I put now it's 90 and this piece will rotate 90 degrees and place uh, every 90 degrees for the nesting but if i say 15 for example now this will rotate 15 degrees uh, with another one so it can be more precise i'll just say 15 and i'll set it for for every for every piece that i've done and the allowance is the distance between a piece and one piece and the other. So if we have specific materials, this can help. So let's put three and now we'll nest these four and then I'll show you uh, f the whole report with all the pieces. So now if we go over from part setup to part nesting, the third tab, we can see the material, the, the, the pieces that we have prepared. So assigned material and assigned a rotation. We'll nest these four initially, and then we'll, we'll look, um, we'll make a, a whole, the whole nesting from here. Uh, at this point, we can uh, click on start nesting and it will start to work you see that initially it does two a couple of um, of pieces and it rotates them with the factor that we gave them so 15 degrees showing us the number of iterations and so, some other data that we'll later need um, for calculation. So this is the row, the surface that we're working on, and it will place it like this. And then um, once it's over, it will go over to this, uh, to this um, piece and start working on that. So we will have to wait a few minutes before it, uh, the, this process is over and I'll, I'll, I'll come back when, uh, whenever uh, it's over. It's, it's, it will take uh, a few minutes, let's say five minutes. So 
now it has completed the nesting and we can see that it says yes it's completed it gives us the efficiency that you can work on uh, by changing the rotation and changing the the rotation factor on the angles it can improve and basically you can uh, make a few tests and find out which one for every piece is the better um, it's the better configuration right now we can export all the nestings so for example I say export all and it will, cre it will create us a DXF file with the nesting so we are already with the parts cut like this this has, this has been placed like this And it has placed them here so with the best possible uh, with the best possible position um, with the, the, the data that we gave it gave the the machine the computer so now we can go over here and see that it has calculated uh, the cost the yield and here we have the total cost in the end now I'm going to do it for all the parts and we'll see how the report will be. Now we see that I have applied a material to the whole list of parts. I have applied an allowance. So I have applied the materials for the lining to the lining parts. And I gave the rotations that made sense so for example for this which is just a stripe a rectangle I put 90 but then for more complicated parts I put 12 so that it does more iterations and it can find out a better placement this could also be 45 let's say so it does less rotations and it saves us time so now we can save my nesting one so that if we want to make changes we have it we can open we can create a new one and we start nesting you see with this start nesting and we'll come back in a few minutes so now it has finished the nesting so this it will tell you that the sheet is too big because the, the the string here is too too small probably so we can see that it has placed all the different parts like this give us the the efficiency then we can go over to the wrapper configuration and see all the costs and all that this uh, I can remove it I don't want it over here so now it has finished the nesting you can see that it has placed all the various sheets around uh, all the parts on the sheets so uh, we can go over to this panel the report configuration and we'll see the list list of parts with the data that we've put and the final cost and the final cost for this so what we can do now is to um, add extra costs to this so for example uh, I'll say stitching uh, stitching operations and I'll say cost for one pair is uh, seven ten uh, dollars and the box and materials for uh, for the box for the shoe 
uh, a paper box uh, and other box related costs it's just a brief description and i'll say three dollars press enter and now i have all the costs so the final cost of the shoe will be this i can now create the report and call it report costs my shoe one and, uh, pop ups here and we can see we have some details for the model that we can uh, specify here and then other costs these are the parts costs so the price for every the cost for every uh, piece and the total cost so this is ready to print uh, ready to be shared with all the parts the little preview and yeah we can you you can see that here you can specify more copies per pair so if i say this is four it will change it over here and the same for every other piece so if not if for, for this we want to specify a different uh different price just for that it will say 14 instead of 13 and it will update and it will go over here so from here of course you can specify and edit um every every other detail and then you can save it you can share it you can specify brand pricing and all the um all the data that you need to share and that's it